We're here with members of the Tufts University women's basketball team, which just won 52-46 over Haverford College in the second round of the NCAA <laughs> Division III championship from left to right. Co-captain Jack Knapp, head coach Carla Berube, and co-captain Erica DeCandido. Coach, can you make an opening statement? Yes. Um, it, was a, uh, it was a gut check. It was a battle from minute one through minute 40. Um, a lot of credit goes to, to Haverford um, and, and their, their team and their coaching staff. And um, they're very well coached. They run their offense as well. And they have a really, really stingy defense. Um, they made us work for everything that, that we got. Um, it, was, um, it was a battle throughout. Um, and, um, you know, at this point in the season, it's about surviving and advancing. And it doesn't always, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty. Um, it's just about, you know, winning games. And, um, you know, I thought our team, you know, down the stretch kept their, their poise. Um, and we were able to, um, you know, execute well. Um, but I thought it really came down to us, um, you know, just getting those, those, those second chance opportunities loose balls um, and creating, you know, the, the scores that we needed to um, and then getting to the line and, and making free throws when it counted. Jack, uh, with the two games to win the NESCAC championship last weekend and now this close win here in the second round of the NCAAs, <laughs> the team has been pretty good at pulling out games. What have, what's been the key to that? I think just making sure we stay po uh, poised and relaxed and just taking one play at a time, like focusing on getting a stop because that does fuel our offense and just making sure we don't like lose our heads, we stay together as one and um, we just make sure we keep talking. <laughs> Erica, a big 21 to six uh, advantage on the offensive boards for the Jumbos tonight. What's been the key to that and how important is that to the team? Yeah, Kaylin Harrington came up with some really big boards for us. So Sophia Rosa did too, but Basically, we've just been em emphasizing this whole week about out hustling and out playing our opponents, and that's what's going to win the games. Uh, just those little like hustle plays. So. Jack, both you and Erica hit big free throws, as Coach mentioned down the stretch. I mean, how how is it to be on the line with the pressure of an NCAA tournament? Uh, what's the key to being successful? I think we've learned in the past few games that free throws really make a big difference, and it is really important to make sure we get in the gym and we take extra shots, so when we do like, have that opportunity at the end of the games, we can make them. Um, and I think everyone's done like a really good job when we don't have en maybe enough time to do it in practice, like getting in the gym and shooting extra shots to make sure everyone can step up at the end. Erica, there is a, a little bit of a feeling of newness to this team with the graduates from the last couple years and now you and Jack taking over as leaders. Maybe some more younger contributions than we've seen in the past. What would you say is the, the culture of this year's team? Yeah, definitely. I remember looking at the bench one point, and um, it was me, Jack, and the three freshmen in. So um, they're definitely doing a great job. I think our whole team, just from Jack and our seniors to our freshmen, I think we have confidence in every single person. We have great scorers on our team, and we all just work really hard um, and trust each other, and that's, like, the main key. Coach, another sweet 16. Obviously, it doesn't get old. What's the game plan for the next week? Yeah, it absolutely doesn't get old. <laughs> um, um, I did lose a few years of my life um, today, but that's okay. It's worth it. Um, it, it, yeah. I mean, you know, winning NCAA games and, and doing it on your your home court with a with a group like like we have is is pretty sweet. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep on doing what we what we do. Um, you know, get back to practice this this week and. We'll see who we've we've got on on Friday and, and in our next pod, and um, we're just excited to be advancing again and, and you know beating a very good you know Haverford team, and um, so we'll uh, we'll look forward to uh, the week ahead. Well, thanks very much, and congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you.